Hey everyone, I'd like to show you how you can perform the really simple king and queen checkmate pattern. If you're not familiar with the trick to this mating pattern, it's really easy to get caught in a stalemate when the enemy king gets close to one of the corners. So the first thing that you need to do is figure out how you can place your queen a knight's distance away from the enemy king. So let's take a look at those squares. These are all the moves that are knight's distance away. Now the only squares that the queen can go to from g7 are f6 and c3 here. So I typically like to pick the square that will push the king away from our king. So f6 will be the best choice here. It pushes the king away from our king. Okay, once you uh, put your queen a knight's distance away, all you need to do is copy the king's movements with your queen. And what I mean by that is if he goes down to the left, our queen will go down to the left. He goes down to the right, queen goes down to the right, down and to the left, our queen copies. To the left, our queen copies, he moves to the left, we copy his movement, he goes down to the right, so on and so forth. Now there's a really critical position here when your queen is three squares and one square away from the edge, that's when you have to stop moving your queen. The reason why this works is because it puts the king into a little jail cell here in the corner where he always has one valid move, so he's just going to bounce back and forth between these two squares here. Now, um, for example, if I were to go one square closer to the king this way on c2, we would just deliver stalemate. And if I were to go one square down, you're allowing the king to escape the corner that we put him into. So once again, once you're three squares and one square away, that's when it's time to uh, bring the king in to support your queen to deliver checkmate. Now we're going to deliver checkmate typically on these squares here. So we want to get our queen eventually over here to b2. And we're going to need our king either on c3 or b3. So let's just move him to c3. You can typically pre-move those king moves. And now once the king is able to support the queen, you can just deliver checkmate. 